Kalamata dunya de ketir Zolbi jabe kalamto ketir Gali kalamto de ya nesia Ya kutai zol kanderi takatul filan Ori lo mongali la 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 Dama nana sukera na geni dugu dugu wana zado kakumsare Ya man my beautiful people is your boy Rabuna boy live on Loruba News Ratata, let's go Welcome to Loruba News, I go my name Diko Andrew and guess what This is my first, 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 first episode in Loruba News And thank you so much for ever been welcoming me all through But as always I don't like to talk too much because I always have people to talk much on my behalf and for my first episode today i'll be having none other than the rabuna boy tea manager but as always it's um it's a tradition at loruba news that the artist need to give us some acapella before he introduces himself so you're welcome thank you how are you I'm good which 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 song are you going to start with as an introduction for us uh, my new song okay Ana kore ki faya banat ketir fi juba ka suru gel batai banat ketir nya kamu minana ketir silu be fananin be aula ka jim lakina sade ana ligo tatai de amu ne de lake de amu ne teli gore alam ligo de aha kalam de de private aja Kana na wari later de bro nya kamu mena Ah mo binya kamu ya jaka jere ma bera bera Aula de ma sai Why why did you decide to 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 hit the gym boys and the play boys These are the only people that always Who only snatch people as girlfriends eh Like people girlfriend people wives not only girlfriends That's the punchline actually But don't you think so like sometimes we blame the women because they don't who are giving excuse You can say no to a man It's not a must for you to to accept that guy, right? Yeah. Uh, in most cases, mm-hmm. we blame women. Yes. Yes, but you know, uh, the owners they don't blame women. They, they blame, blame the, the wrong boys. Come and snatch the their women. <laughs> oh my God, it's just so hard. Anyway, welcome to Lorban News once more time, and we have been seeing you around for a very 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 long, long time. But maybe someone have just uh, opened Lorban News and they don't know. The background of team manager we have known team manager as the rabuna boy but what's else behind the rabuna boy that people don't know about you well team manager is a ordinary person just a, a boy that come from lady state yes. and um, yeah, of course my name is taban and that's where the name team manager come from and uh, i'm an asshole Mm-hmm. I see. <laughs> As someone who grew up on the street, man, yeah. and also lives in the one up to now. Okay. So, uh, when it comes to the music, like uh, you also you started just with the Rabuna Boy as the first song, or there are other songs that were there before that? I actually did an album, mm-hmm. uh, which was full of traditional songs. Okay, that was my first album, mm-hmm. and then I switched later on to Arabic, uh-huh. Arabic Juba. Mm-hmm. That's when I sang my first song, and that is Rabuna. So it it's been like a switch here and there. Mm-hmm. When it comes to genre, which which genre do you like? You're so comfortable with Afrobeat. Afrobeat is a favorite. Afrobeat is my favorite genre. Okay. I like when you listen to most of my songs. Mm-hmm. Actually, Afrobeat, Afrozouk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. How do you measure yourself as a successful artist, or how do you know, or how do you point like that artist had made it in their career as an artist? Well, I don't see myself as someone who actually made a, a huge achievement because I still see myself as someone who is still struggling. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just happy that my music inspired people out there, mm-hmm. encourage people, you know, to move on with their life. Mm-hmm. Um, also happy that my music gives hope to those who are hopeless. That's very true. So it is a pleasure. I'm happy and of course it has changed my life. Like I'm not like the other taban of two years. Yes. Three years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you mention about the taban of two years and the taban now, what's that change that you you saw in yourself? Like I'm different or I'm I'm unique. Well, the uh, there are a lot of things. Uh, the few uh, a few to mention. Okay. You know, like right now, I'm being invited like many TV radio stations. International. Uh, <laughs> Going just to a market, you know, yes. find myself in a situation like everyone is calling, hey, team manager, team yes. manager, yeah. And I'm also getting paid mm-hmm. for performances. As money? Money, man. Ma- as money. Ma- money. Ma- you can supply, okay? Yeah, so 
a lot yeah. of changes. Okay. You mentioned like you've been stopped on the road because you are now a celebrity or a national artist. Like what are the scenarios that you won't forget uh, that found you on the road like you were stopped and you say like, ah, this celebrity life? Well, I have one thing to remember, yeah. really nice. Mm. And uh, you know, a uh, few months ago, mm. after I released Rabuna and I didn't know this song was already outside and you yeah. know, people love it. Yes. So I was on the street moving, I was even footing. Mm -hmm. And so these street guys, they're actually street boys, mm -hmm. they saw me and they were like, hey, yo, yo, team manager. It's like, who are these? Then I turn, I look at them. This one said, oh, man, this is this guy, the yeah. Rabuna boy. You don't yeah. know the guy? Who, his name is Rabuna boy. Yeah. Actually, that's where I got the name. You got Rabuna the name boy. from? From those yeah. street boys. Wow. And so I was happy. I feel like that's a great honor. Mm -hmm. And from that moment, I picked that name. Okay. That's like, yeah, I have I'm to be Rabuna boy. That's a Rabuna boy. Oh, my God. That's a that's a quite of a, of an interesting journey. You mentioned about you being still an upcoming, yes. yeah. And of a recent, we didn't we didn't we didn't see we we saw the other part of Team Manager, right. in which uh, Silver X happened to have a post concerning uh, upcoming artists without blue ticks. Those those artists without blue ticks are upcoming artists. Then you went outside there and commented. Have you felt offended about it? Well, it wasn't about me, mm -hmm. and it was about the artists. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's not about blue tick. Yes. It's not about how famous you are. Yes. Uh, for us artists, we, we, what we consider the most mm -hmm. is how you sing your lyrics and how it touches people, the message in your song. Yes. Like, when you look at South Sudan music industry right now, mm -hmm. there are some artists that are really, really very good. Then me, myself. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, they did not got a chance, you know, to, to you know, be known mm. their talent is not you know at first to the nation so yes. that people get to know them and who they are yeah. but i believe they are really talented and they deserve that respect mm -hmm. and so i feel like it was like a kind of uh, uh bullying mm. to, 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 to the artist that doesn't have blue tick yeah like when you when you look at people like mg7 single d mm -hmm. without blue people, i respect them yes because they are really talented mm. and they don't have blue ticks. So yeah. if they don't have blue ticks, it's bad, it's bad. Now can that, you know, yeah. uh, put them in a, in a situation or maybe in a position that they are coming at it? Yes. That's not right. And so I was just complaining yeah. the right of the artist, yes. the upcoming artist. Yes. <laughs> Which you are part of them. <laughs> yeah, I do. But what would be that la uh, message you want to give him from Loruba News to Silver? However, to everybody who is uh, like down looking at artists my, who are talented but they don't brag a lot like the rest my, of the people. My message to Silver mm. and the rest of the artists that talk too much. Yeah. You know, this industry is just like, you know, people come and go. Yes. So you can stay on the top like permanently. Yes. And the music is, you know, advancing. Mm. So there's a that new, you know, kind of vibe that are coming in. Mm. And then and the, the, the new generation that are coming up, they actually have knowledge mm -hmm. more about. It. So mm -hmm. we have to respect those artists, yes. uh, regard of, of uh, the position they are, mm. or if they are not famous or not. But yes. we respect them because yeah. you never know one day yeah. they can be on the top. Yes. You will also look up to them. So that's, that's true. That's interesting. And as well, that will take me to to the other side of uh, of a question whereby in this in this industry, I've been looking into people who are very talented but at the end of the day their talent being killed by ego and pride do you do you think like ego and pride might um, maybe disappear someone's talent at a certain point me i don't i don't put it the way you put it mm -hmm. uh, you know most of talented artists that actually give up and mm -hmm. you know and uh, they even quit music yes for me i don't think it is a uh, pride but mm -hmm. it is a uh, frustration Yes. Sometimes if you know you are good at this, and you mm -hmm. deserve the kind of respect that you deserve. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't see yourself in a position where you are respected or you are, you are given yes. the right that you deserve. Yes. You'll be frustrated. That's you see? You'll be frustrated and then you'll start taking drugs, drinking, mm -hmm. so that people think, ah, this one is already With spoiled. With so much inside. So yeah. they don't talk much about you. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's how I do it. Okay. It's not right. But pride actually is not a good thing. Okay. Sometimes it is good for people, you know, to appreciate your work, yeah. to praise you, and then you keep quiet. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. And as well, we have uh, seen over recent congratulations. You got your pay, uh, your page back, yeah. in which was having a lot of a lot of followers. Even I personally, I wanted to cry at some point because I lost my page in a very weird manner. But at least you got an yours back. Like, um, how was how was it from the time you lost it? That was, that was crazy, and yeah. it was like a miracle when I got my page back. Yeah. It have was, you believed that one day you will return that page back? I didn't believe it. Yeah. I didn't believe it. Even I created a new page. Wow. That page was already 30k followers. Yeah. Mm. And I forgot about it. Yeah. And there's a company, is it called uh, Safety Something? Yes. The one for Nelson Project. Something, yes. yes. So they are the one who actually recovered my page. Yeah. And uh, to those who have also lost their pages, yeah. please, I would advise you to you know, go out there, yeah. explain your condition and how did you lose your page to them and I believe they can help you. Yeah. So it's, it's a good thing, I'm happy mm -hmm. and that's it. We can, we can see the numbers are now back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, though I don't have the engagement that I used to have, yes. but I think with time I'll get it back. No worries, the ladies are there for you, Rabuna mm -hmm. boy, so <laughs> worry less, they're there thank for you. you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and as well, uh, there's this thing um, whereby the world is going digital. And in South Sudan, like uh, people tend, especially artists, they just get to know like about the digital platform. How does a team manager use his digital to entertain his fans and as well use it as a profit for himself? Uh, right now we have a big problem. Yes. The problem is, you know, South Sudan is not monetized. Yes. Uh, in all music platforms, mm. you go like Facebook, Instagram, uh, including uh, YouTube. Yes. And so the only way you can benefit from your music or the only way you can entertain your fan is by distributing your music. Yes. Like right now my music is distributed on the whole platform. Yes. But out of all these platforms, trust me, it's crazy. Mm. I'm only getting paid on YouTube. Wow. The rest of the platform is still upcoming. Still, still, a bit. still a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> So how, how can it be helped? Like, do you have any, any solution for, for such problem? Well, uh, I'm looking at, uh, for us, we would say it, yeah, we need government, you know, to help us involve. Mm. Because, you know, we, we did not come from somewhere, just we are mm. part of South Sudan. Mm. Because the support that we need from the government is to, you know, consider our needs, mm. put them into consideration. Mm. So we need this monetization yes. to reach us with them, yes. so that artists can be able to make money online. Mm. And not only artists, other, you know, content creators yes. Yes. can be able to, you know, benefit on the internet. Mm. Uh, so I'm just requesting the government if mm. they will hear my voice. An artist union? Artist union too, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. To help you people get yes, it through so it. That's it. Okay, and as well, uh, Bordeaux, fi, fi Haja Gibel, one of, uh, of my colleagues mentioned it here. Yeah? Gali team manager is becoming a collaboration. Mm -hmm. For example, Gali, um, for, for example, WJ have a collaboration with Mizai Emi, right? right? Instead of writing it collaboration, he say uh, Mizai Emi had team manager with WJ, mm -hmm. in which you are becoming a collaborated mm -hmm. artist. How does it be balancing with you? Well, uh, I feel good doing collaboration with artists mm. because uh, I feel like uh, it's a process of learning mm. few things that I didn't know from my colleagues. Yes. And I also feel like we are sharing ideas mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm also, you know, getting, mm -hmm. getting more fans. Yes. Because we artists, we have our own fan base. Yes. I have people that love me. Yeah. Silva has people that love him. Mm. John Frog has his own fans. So, but yeah. we, if you work together, yeah. it's a way of introducing ourselves, you know, to our fans. Yeah. And of course, your fan base will increase. Okay. So it's not a bad thing. For me, actually, I can say it is beneficial. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. How do you manage your time between creating and promoting and enjoying your art? Uh, this is the hardest part here yeah, for me. Yeah. I'm someone who don't actually, I don't post like regularly. Yes. If I post today about a new song, mm. it will take me again three to four weeks to post about it. Mm. Um, I'm not actually active on Instagram, mm -hmm. TikTok, all this thing. I just go there if I want. Yeah. And, and this is the reason why we actually need to, as a brand, mm. we need a full team, not only a manager, we need mm. a full team to run all these things. Mm. And uh, looking at the situation we are in, 
uh, music is not paying us. Mm -hmm. For you to gather those people around you, yes, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't pay them, at least uh, transport and the rest of the thing, food, everything. It's there to be get at home. That's a lot of money, so we need to be you know financially stable okay. so that we can run all this. Okay. But I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Maybe hopefully next year I'll be able to have that team to okay. run my stuff. Okay. And I think that's where by the hustle part uh, had that's to come in. But in, in, in our society, in, uh, in the entertainment industry in South Sudan, artists don't take the hustling part much. They tend to just focus on the talent. They feel like they'll get the only money from the shows and that's it. For me, I don't think like that uh, because even music itself, if you don't have uh, strategies of marketing your music, mm. uh, get yourself connected to people mm. that will actually support your mm. uh, your career, you mm. cannot make it anywhere. Even That's if you true. think like what, even if you are better than Chris Brown or yeah. Michael Jackson, mm. you cannot go anywhere. Yeah. So you must have your own ways of marketing, your own ways of planning your, your things. Mm. And trust me, they will work out. Okay. I'm not that good on all this, but I have them in my mind. Yeah. But what is holding me back is, is the finance. Yes. Yes. Okay. I don't feel one day, Things are trying to break through. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and that's it. And by the way, we came to an end of our conversation with team manager. But there's that one last thing we have introduced. It. Mm -hmm. It's called pass or smash. Pass or smash. Yeah. You let her go or you let her stay. Okay. Okay. I have uh, three people. Mm -hmm. I will start with uh, Juna mm -hmm. and Black Queen. Smash or pass? <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Uh -huh. wow. This is crazy to answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to answer. I'll give you two. Okay, instead of three, I'll give you two. Juno and Black Queen. Who smash give me three, who? I'll pick two. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's only this one. It's much your past Black Queen and Juno. And the next one is harder. The last one is harder. So you be easy on me there so that I can be easy on you also. Oh, no. mm -hmm. It's just See, for fun. It's I, for fun. No I, no personal I thing. I, I love Black Queen, but you know, I'll, I'll say Juna. Uh -huh. So it's Smash Juna, Pass Black Queen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our last one is Smash or Pass Cola and Quincy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh huh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, Bizzi, Bizzi is a legend that we all respect. Yeah. But I would say... Pass. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. I'll say Pascola. Pascola and Keep Queens, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that have been the end of our conversation. Timothy, what will be the last thing you want to tell everyone who are watching Lorobo News right now? Well, I was... Uh, thank you to... Dico for inviting me here. Thank, Thank you, you so. to uh, Loruba TV. Yeah. It's my first time here and I'm so excited. Yeah. And uh, yeah. doing this show, you know, it's helping a lot, you know, as the artist. It's, yes. helping, it's actually helping us a lot. Yeah. And um, uh, my message is uh, to South Sudanese out there, please keep supporting your own artists uh, because we cannot get this support from the other countries if we are not supported here. Yeah. So keep supporting us, not only team manager, but the rest of the artists. Yeah. My message, my plan is, my faith is back. It is active right now. If you haven't followed me before, please go and follow go me back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the message. Thank uh, you. All right. Thank you so much, team manager, for coming yeah. to the News. Yeah. And as well to the listeners that have been the end of it, I love you so much. Diko DeAndre is out of here.